Okay, so let's go ahead and make this from this. This is gonna be pretty good. Okay, we're gonna start by making our chickpea noodles. Now, this was a little bit of a battle to get to this point, and it's not exactly the point that I even wanted to get to, but it worked, so let's go. So open up the chickpeas, drain the liquid, saving that liquid, that's aquafaba, we need that for the sauce. Now just grab a baking sheet, piece of parchment paper, and a paper towel. So we're gonna kind of like try to dry off the chickpeas as much as possible, and then we're just gonna mash them up. Now we don't need them completely mashed like hummus, we're not going that route, but we just need them kind of like chunked up. Now once we got them nice and chunky, all we're gonna do is just season them with just a little bit of salt. Now this is gonna do two things. It's gonna season it, but it's also gonna help pull some of the moisture out of them. Now, if your oven has a convection setting, use that. It's gonna help dry them a little bit quicker. We're gonna set it for 225 degrees. Just preheat the oven now at this point. If it doesn't have the convection setting, keep it at 225, but just leave the door open. It might take just a little longer. Now, if you have a convection setting, it only takes about 40 minutes to get it to the point of almost dry. Uh, the, the smaller bits are gonna be pretty crispy, but like the bigger chunks of chickpeas still might have some moisture. That's okay. We're not trying to remove all of it. Here. Now at this point, I'm gonna to toss them to a food processor. If you have a food mill, that might work. A blender's gonna work really well or a grinder is gonna work just as well too. So we're making like a soft chickpea flour. I mean, I don't know exactly what that means, but it's just, it's just, we're making a chickpea flour. So I'm gonna be adding about two tablespoons of tapioca starch to this mixture. And then we're just gonna blend it up until it's a fine powder. It really doesn't take that long to get to a pretty good quality chickpea flour. Um, it should really have about the same consistency of flour. It'll be like really nice, soft, and fluffy. Now, once we get to the point to where we have a nice flour, we're gonna start immediately making the dough. Uh, so I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of the aquafaba liquid. So earlier when I said the pasta was a battle, that's because it was. The idea that I had in my head on how to make this work didn't really necessarily work the first time around, but it's okay because the, the pasta was easy to manipulate and add in what was needed. So we're just gonna be building as we go here in this video, but it ends up working out in the end. So now we added about two tablespoons of hot water to this, and it seems like it's kind of like starting to get to be um, more of like a chunky dough, like it's actually kind of starting to come together. At this point, I just pulled it out and we're gonna start working with it by hand. Now take your hand and click the subscribe button down below. That's a great time to do it. Thank you. Now, all we're gonna do is just continue adding water and continue trying to pull this together until it feels pretty malleable. Now, there, there's no gluten in chickpea flour, so we're not gonna ever gonna get to a point to where we're able to like stretch and pull this. Realistically, we just need kind of like a workable dough ball, like a formable dough ball. So now that we have our first formable dough ball here, I'm gonna wrap it up. Now, my thought was that I just, just like you would like corn tortillas, we just need everything to kind of like hydrate up. We wanna give it enough time to do that. Uh, so we're just gonna wrap it in some plastic wrap and wrap it tight and let it sit for, you know, about 30 minutes or so. Also, don't ask me why I put it in the mug. My mind works in mysterious ways. So it's been 30 minutes. We pulled the dough ball out and you know, what did I discover? It was, it was, it was pretty dry. Um, it started to crumble apart. There was no way I was going to be making any sort of like noodle out of this chickpea dough. Uh, so we tossed it back in the food processor and we're going to be adding psyllium husk, which I just learned psyllium husk has a bit of stretch. Gluten has some stretch. So I figured this probably would help. So in the end, it ended up being about a quarter cup of water with two tablespoons of psyllium husk and an additional two more teaspoons of tapioca starch. Now, don't ask about the parchment paper. Again, I don't know what I was doing, but we have our dough ball. I want that psyllium husk to firm up and hydrate up. So we're going to give it about 30 minutes. Same thing. Uh, now, if you were to do this in the first step, it's only going to take about 30 minutes. You don't have to do the two steps like I did here. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and now we're getting somewhere. So we're gonna pull our dough ball out and we're gonna cut it into four equal pieces. So now this is starting to feel more like a real dough ball and less just like, kind of like Play-Doh. So I'm actually just gonna toss a little bit of uh, starch on it. You can use cornstarch or more of the tapioca starch and then we're just gonna roll it out flat. Now, once I roll it out, I'm just gonna toss on a little bit more tapioca starch. Now I know in the video, it looks like it's a lot, but I think it's just the white reflecting to the light because it's it's, it's not that much, I swear. Now I was trying to think about what shape to cut this in, um, but really I wanted a simple shape. I was going for like a shell. I've seen in in other like pasta making videos people just cut out little circles and then you just use a fork to you know, to roll out the shape of like, give it some texture. So I would just wanted to do the same thing here. Now I changed the method a few times through doing this, but in the end, I ended up with some pretty good looking pasta shells going on. Now, once we have all of our shells done, I just let them set aside to kind of like sit into their shapes. I was hoping that they would stay. Now I just got a pot of water getting ready to boil. I just salted it and now let's make our sauce. But before that, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Les Mills Plus makes it easy to deliver world leading group fitness and help members fall in love with fitness. And I love that. You all know I've been working on taking my fitness and health journey more serious lately. 
I'm in my 40s and I wanna be around for a little bit longer and I love the fitness shaped by science approach of Les Mills Plus, so I had to give it a try. And honestly, I'm so glad that I did because I'm loving it. The best part is when you're super busy like Monica and I, you can set up your own gym right in your living room and go. There are 13 at-home workout categories and over 1,500 workouts to choose from. Everything from cardio, strength, hit, dance, martial arts, cycling, yoga, mindfulness, and workouts for kids even. And for people like me, they have equipment-free options. Every workout features options and modifications for all abilities, as well as workouts with or without equipment. <sighs> so I've been working out with Les Mills without the workout equipment, just doing all of the no equipment needed exercises, and it's been phenomenal. <laughs> So gang, click the link in my description below for your exclusive offer to join Les Mills Plus and get your first month free. Plus 50% off of your second month. Whew. Les Mills Plus, thanks for sponsoring today's video and helping me be a better me. I am excited about this journey. Okay, let's get moving. Okay, so now we're back. The water's up to a boil. We're gonna toss these in because it's gonna take about six to seven minutes for them to cook all the way through. And that's enough time to make the sauce. So just let them boil, watch the water. We're just gonna be kind of simmering. So we're gonna be making kind of like a garlic sauce. And to do that, we're gonna be making a garlic emulsion. We're gonna be using uh, some garlic, about three or four heads of garlic, along with half of a cup of the aquafaba. Now garlic on its own has its own emulsion property. So the garlic and the aquafaba is gonna create a really nice emulsion here. So using the stick blender, just blend those two together together and then we're going to be adding about a tablespoon or two of olive oil. I'm not creating like a mayo or like aioli here so just you know keep that in mind. Now we, we need to add a little bit of starch because I want this to thicken up. I want it to have a little bit of like a cheesy mouth feel uh, so we're going to be adding just a touch more of the tapioca starch maybe a, less than a teaspoon and some nutritional yeast. That's going to be a lot of the flavor as well. Now at this point you can give it a taste. It should have like a really nice taste to it. I mean think like Alfredo sauce-ish esque kind of taste. I think that's what we're going for. So it's been about six or seven minutes. I gave the pasta a taste. It, it tastes pretty good. The texture's pretty good. It's almost kind of like al dente. It's softer. It's a different texture, but it's not, it's not bad. I really like it. Now, the one thing was a little bit of a bummer. The shapes were completely gone. It's no longer a shape. They just flattened out into like, kind of like textured discs, which is okay. It still worked. Now I tested a few separately to see how they would work. But for the most part, I found out that if you just run them under a little bit of cold water right after they're cooked, they're going to stay a little bit firmer and have like a nicer texture for longer. So just set the noodles aside. Now let's heat up the sauce. So we're just going to throw that right back into the pan and then continue stirring until it kind of like thickens up a little bit. Uh, we just wanted to be able to stick to the noodle. So now we know what it tastes like. So I'm just adding a little bit of salt and black pepper. I'm going to add a decent amount of black pepper. I kind of want this to be like a peppery kind of sauce. Once this thickens up, we're going to toss the noodles in, stir them around to coat. We don't need them to cook any longer. So let's just plate them up. Now I'm going to add a little bit of fresh parsley, Italian parsley to the top of this. I think that's going to be what seals the deal. Now, I mean, look at this dish. This, I mean, everything here, the base of everything here came from a can of chickpeas. So now let's see what Monica has to say. Mm. Mm, I really like this. Super good, right? Mm -hmm. it tastes like pasta. And I love the sauce, whatever you do with the sauce. And I love the shape. I love like weird shape pasta. So just give your rundown. It almost tastes like an orchetti pasta. Okay. It, do it does have a good like bite and texture and chew to it like a mm -hmm. pasta does. Um, what about the sauce? What do you think about yeah. the sauce? So the sauce I really like. I know it's yellow, but it doesn't taste like a cheddar cheese. Oh no. It's good. It's like the garlic cream with some flavor. Um, it's definitely very flavorful, but it's also simple at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's like a garlic cream, even though it's not cheesy. It's got like the thickness almost of a macaroni and cheese. Yeah, it's a know? nice like, yeah. So it has a thickness of that. The consistency is mm -hmm. really nice. Mm. But yeah, I really like it. Even though it's creamy, it feels light. Yeah, I'm really happy about mm -hmm. this. And same with the noodles. It's a thicker noodle, mm -hmm. but it feels like almost like light and fluffy in a way. Yeah. When you bite into it. It does. And it tastes and feels like a pasta, but it's not like an al dente mm -mm. pasta. It's just like a good, a good thickness to the pasta. Well, we're eating all of this. Mm -hmm. This is the dinner. <laughs> it's really good. I love so, it. Oh, this is from one can of chickpeas. That's amazing. We're gonna have to make that sauce again. I'm all about the sauce. Yeah. So this was all from chickpeas? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. You're so creative. Mm. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 